tell, this is a relatively new jack. I've used it once in the past, but this is the third time I've used this jack today. And this jack is nice and clean. It lives in the back of the Jeep. And again, it seems to be climbing just fine. I finished the job, I pulled the jack stands out, and as I was lowering the jack, this is where everything went sideways. And you can still see there's plenty of weight on the jack. That's going to crash. Um. So I bought this. I don't know what's extreme about it, but it is the real deal. So, gonna relocate this jack. So high lift, it's kind of nice in the back here because it's always clean. It's never dirty, you know, it's, it'll always work when I get it out because um, it's never clogged up with a bunch of junk. But the problem is that will make you insane and it makes my wife insane. And so then we're bickering, we're like irritated at each other because, okay, so we tried this thing, of course, that helps when you put this thing on. Um, slows it down a little bit, but there's still some stuff over here that rattles. So we get out some bungee cords and we wrap them all around and tie it and try to figure out where the rattle is and then get that pretty secure. And then still, sometimes the handle still clunk, 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 clunk. So then we jam some rag in between here and trying to get to, ah, making me crazy. Let's put it on the hood. Now you can mount it in the back here. Of course, a lot of dust circulates up around the back of your Jeep when you're going down dirt roads. If you just have a mall crawler though, you don't have to worry about that, but you can see this Jeep gets used for search and rescue it gets used uh we take it out a couple two or three um weekends a month we can mount it across the bumper here which i kind of like that idea but then when you're driving behind somebody it's also getting dust i went ahead and bought the brackets for right here um, we're going to go ahead and put it up on the hood and it's still going to get dust from vehicles in front of me but we try not to drive too close to people anyway <clears throat> just because then the dust is coming in the windows and that kind of thing so you know, if your second Jeep back or your third or fourth Jeep back, then there's usually a lot of dust, especially if it's a still day. Uh, so I'm going to carry a can of, you know, like brake cleaner uh, just so I can wash it out. If if the mechanism is full of dirt and it's kind of grindy and crunchy, I'm going to wash it out with some brake cleaner and then we'll take some lubricant also, uh, whether it's WD-40 maybe or some other kind of lithium grease. So I'm going to keep a couple cans of those. Good things to keep in your Jeep anyway. And so if it does get too dusty, we'll uh, just wash it off. And the other thing is I bought a boot to go over the mechanism. So we'll put that boot on as well. Maybe that'll help uh, keep the dust and the grime out of the mechanism. So when you do take it off, use it, it's ready to go. Okay, so this kit comes from Amazon and you know, it's kind of cool looking. Uh, we're gonna mount this. These are the actual screws for the knobs. Now, obviously, when you put this knob on, you take it off, that's going to fall through. So I thought, well, I'll weld it on. I'll just tack weld these on in place, but I don't know exactly where I want to put them. And uh, I think the easiest thing to do is just get one of those little capture washers that you push down over here and it kind of locks around the edge of the bolt there. So it keeps it from falling out. So we'll get some of those. Uh, this actually mounts to where the handle goes toward the windshield. Okay. And the handle lays right there. The actual jack will lay right here. So this part will go forward of the vehicle and this part will go to the inside. So we have two of these and they'll face each other like this. This is a T50. And these bottom ones are a T40. And which as you can see, your impacts aren't gonna work. So you really need a uh, 90 degree angle set of the Torx bits to get these tightened down, which I do not have, but I do have this. This is gonna be too big, obviously, but maybe I can get this in at an angle, sort of. And it kind of works. Ah, okay. So the T-handle seems to be getting the job done. Okay. That's pretty solid, good deal. Ok, 
okay, that really doesn't rattle much at all. Maybe because this clamp is pushing on that and that. And uh, so it's keeping this mechanism from rattling. It kind of tightens up everything over here as well. That's kind of cool. And you know, this isn't bad. This rattling noise isn't bad, you know, when you're rock crawling because it's real slow. You're aired down, your suspend, your sway bar is disconnected, your, you know, everything's flowing and uh, it works, you know, it doesn't rattle very much, but it's on the washboard roads that you have to drive sometimes to get to those, or the rocky roads that you have to drive to get to your trailhead. Uh, that just makes me crazy. I saw, you know, a cheaper one that was probably half the price of this high lift brand boot. And I almost got that, but after watching some reviews and some busted zippers, I don't know. I think that a little bit of maybe better quality zipper, maybe. We're gonna find out here. Just unzip it. Zips up tighter than a Megan Trainer dance outfit. Okay. Looks pretty good though, yeah? All right, so maybe that'll keep some of the crud off the mechanism, the dust, the dirt, the grime, snow, uh, ice. That's a real that's a real deal. Snow melts, uh, snow builds up here, melts into the mechanism, refreezes, and then that jams it up. And I've had that happen where my jack hasn't worked because of that. So now the question is, will the windshield squirters right there still hit the windshield or will they hit the jack? Let's see, how do you do this again like that? Oh yeah. Perfect. Totally dry. 